Hi guys, this is Leela. Welcome to my channel Leela Web Dev. So in our previous project, we have successfully installed our PostgreSQL and here you will be able to see this one. So now what I would be trying to do it is, I will be creating a new database that is nothing but create database. Uh, so we are, have, we are working on the job, right? So hire API and I am creating the job underscore DB. So whatever the name you want, you can keep it. Unique failed database insert into something, something, something it is saying. So let's try to okay and i will try to create a new database higher underscore db let's try to see it so i'll be clicking on the save yeah it has been created so i'm using the higher underscore db this is our thing and let's go to our project so as i already told you right we will be using the prisma orm so here i will be using the um, i'll be opening the prisma orm okay let's click on this one so go into here and I will be opening and here let's go to the docs okay ORM I will be running I will be learning about the ORM talk to your database easily okay let's click on this one so here we will be having an overview introduction what is Prisma ORM and all those things okay fine let's go to the guides mm, framework database tool guides okay framework guides so setting up this ORM Mm, let's see guides database guides let's see connecting cloud fair building real times this is all the things not required let's try to see prisma overview introduction and why prisma ORM why prisma ORM? databases so here I will be using the postgresql okay and this is our post postgresql Let's go to here ORM Prisma client or um, let's see uh, let's see this one again so I am I have, I have clicked on this get started okay fine so let's click on the get started so quick start so we are using here and start from scratch we are using for the real uh, real time here I am using and this one is we are will be using the PostgreSQL and the and the language we are using is the TypeScript okay and we have this all the system pre-requires pre it see all things are present so now let's try to see here npm init hyphen y and here it is asking to install the already existing project so we'll try to go with an existing project real existence and this one yeah fine so now it is asking to install the prisma okay so let's try to copy this one and go into our project so here i will be using uh, I will stop the server again and here let's try to clean up yeah I am installing the Prisma so the first step what we are doing is we are installing the Prisma let's go here so after installing the Prisma what it is trying what it is saying you can invoke the Prisma CLA prefix npx Prisma okay let's try to see it so here let's try to see let's go to our here it will take some time let it take so here you'll be able to see the Prisma ORM has been installed. Let's go into this one. So now you can invoke here by using this command it is saying. Okay, let's go into our editor and let's I'm clicking on npx Prisma. And if you try to see in our package.json, so it will be added, I think. Here somewhere you'll be able to see the Prisma. So right now at the time of this recording, we are using the version 6.4.1. Okay, so here you'll be able to see the Prisma generate and all those things it is asking. Okay, it is telling the commands. So here it is telling you are if you want to initialize the project we need to use npx prisma in it okay let's try to use the command cls npx prisma in it okay um, what will happen if you try if you type this one this command does the two things creates a new directory called prisma so a new folder will be created prisma that contains a file named schema.prisma okay which contains the prisma schema with your database connection variable and schema models okay and another one is creates the .env file so already it is there in the root directory which is used for defining environment variables such as your database connection okay so two files will be created which in which the file is already existing in our project and another file is that is nothing but a new folder prisma will be created and then inside that folder prisma a schema.prisma file is created which contains all the schema uh, connection uh, schema uh, syntax of everything about this one so for here if you try to see in our code here let's try to see in our source let's close the source and here where is the prisma folder is created yeah at the top you'll be able to see a prisma folder and inside this one this is the schema.prisma which we are able to see it 
and here this is the env variable database underscore url which we are having let's open the dot env and here you will be able to see that env database underscore url also has been added for this one so this is the database uh, thing so right now this all username and all those things is wrong so let's try to go and let's try to use it now uh, let's go here into our thing so this is completed next connecting your database let's try to connect your database so here schema.prisma you will be having this the, this file yeah these lines are existing and the database url you will be able to see this is the thing and here we need to change the username password host and the port and the database okay username and password so let's go into here the username is you know that post gray s so which you will be able to see and the password which i have used it is the test one two three and the local host for this one is correct and the database is higher underscore db which i have created okay now you will be able to see in most cases yeah yeah it's all fine now we are using postgresql okay let's try to see whether we are using the postgresql or not yeah it is using the postgresql and now finished so the database connection is also completed let's try to see now here you'll be able to see yeah here let's try to create yeah now what we have did it now let's go to the schema.prisma fine now what i want to do it is so i need to create i need to create a database so for this one what i will try to do so i will use the draw sql so that you can able to understand the schema diagram flow also so first of all let's try to try draw sql okay i will try to log in okay mm, let me log in here and i will come back to you so i have logged in into here so i am creating a new diagram the name is higher underscore db okay it's a public and i am using the postgresql for this one create a diagram and we can also have a relations and everything you can able to have it now here we are having this one so the first table which i would be trying to create is the users table okay so here the table name will be uh, edit users table okay so in this one in this users table so what you can able to have it inside this one so we are having the id which is in begin and primary key okay and you can have an add a column and i can have a name which is in where cat and we can also have another one is sorry not add indexes add column we can also have an email which is of where cat 255 whatever it may be and you can also have a rule which is of types where cat so you can have it like this and another one which we can able to have it is password so my main thing i forgot the password and here the password will be where cat again fine and you can also have a created at okay it will be date time or anything or you can use the time stamps so another one will be updated at and this one will be time stamps or anything so these are the things which i would be trying to have and here the email should be unique sorry email should be unique um, that's it most probably so i can have this table so this is the table which i would be trying to create it so now let's try to create the schema for this one okay so we'll try to keep another one also add column there is nothing but is active okay which is of type boolean that's it so now this one is done so now we have a schema so in the next video what we will try to do it is we will try to create a migration table for this one using the prisma so that automatically the table will be created using the data using the uh, prisma code so hope you understood about this schema thing and we have successfully able to create the connection also we have did it so in the next video we will try to create the user table so hope you understood about this concept so if you have any doubts or any suggestions please post the comments below to this video and if you like this video please do support me by subscribing to my channel thank you